Hey everybody, it's Kate. See, and now it completely <laughs> changed colors on me. Whatever. Okay, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm here to do the max temperaturizing dupe video that I had said I was gonna do. This is the whole line, top to bottom, for the most part. I, of course, only picked mostly the shades, like bronzers, things like that, that I would actually wear or use. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with nails. Um, and like I said, I've never seen, I didn't say this today, but I said it previously, that I have never seen um, the collection in person. I'm only going based on swatches from the internet. So I hope that is not a problem. If it's a problem, don't watch. I don't know what to say. Um, sorry. I can't help myself. I feel like it's too dark. I like, get it all adjusted and then it, I don't know what it does on me, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go in with these two nail polishes that I found at Milani. The ones from the line are Scorching Hout is the purple sparkle one. So I picked up this Milani um, polish in, and this is like going to show it true to color right here. So it's a chunky glitter, not chunky, but like real fine glitter. And then um, here's the color on my my nail. I don't know if it's gonna... There you go. So I got the gold and the other one on my nails. This is the gold. The gold is Tropical from uh, the MAC line. This is Gold Glitz from Milani. This is cool. I don't mind the texture. The texture is a little chunky. I'm sure if I put a top coat on it, it would be completely fine. So I'm just going to reach in and grab my... Because I'm trying to use it up because I don't really like it. So I'll use it on like crap. Sorry, I digress. Look at that. Just quickly I get sidetracked. In. So I'll let you know in a minute. Okay, so moving on. Eyeshadows. I showed you my two dupe videos. The eyeshadows that I'm choosing to use for this are I picked up these um, Maybelline quads in Give Me Gold, which is this one. It's 05, give me gold, and this is 110 Legendary Lilac. I thought this one was actually perfect. So there's Legendary Lilac. And for the green, I used this um, Ulta eyeshadow in Glamazon. It is a, like, I don't know if I can, there it goes. Um, it's just a, like, an emerald green. Move the light back because you know now it completely adjusts everything. All right, so those are the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows that they had were Bear My Bear My Soul, which was the green gold glitter or glittery one, yeah, and the Temperature Rising collection, which was the purple collection. So Legendary Lilac 110 in Maybelline was seven dollars, and I thought it was seven forty nine, but it was seven ninety nine at um, Walmart. So fifty cents difference, whatever. Eye pencils. Um, my pencils were interesting for me because I have a variety of pencils. The one that I had wanted to try was the L'Oreal, um, the like smoldering eye. They have these, but the ones from this MAC collection are actually shimmery. So, you know, I don't know. NYX has a couple of pencils as well. I don't have them, so I would recommend either going Milani, NYX, or um, Rimmel are the ones that I had picked. And Rimmel for more of the matte ones. And then, of course, when I was looking at the swatches again last night to do this video, mm, hey, there we are. They are more of a glittery um, line, so I don't know. And then there was a, like a charcoal. So which did I say? I said I was going to use the Rimmel Hurricane Gray is the one that I was going to do for the gray. This is just a like charcoal gray. It's not really a swatch on my hands, so I don't like to do swatches on my hands, but I'll try anyway. The other one is uh, Rich Glance, which is a nude. The perfect one for that, I believe, because I am in love with this one, is this nude from Rimmel Scandalized Cole Kajol water pencil. This is the only pencil that I have been able to use in my waterline that does not bother my eyes. So I definitely would recommend this from Rimmel. I did pick up a brown. Oh, no, I have brown. Life's Luxury in brown. And the Polish Jet. These are not the same colors. Those are the colors from Max line. These are the colors from Rimmel. 
I should say it and then tell you the dupes. Okay. So the nude I had told you was the, the nude from Rimmel. Um, they use like more pencils. So, I mean, I have, uh, I don't know. I have a brown from Ulta somewhere. You see, I'm really collected for this. I don't know, I thought I had it out, I guess I don't. Whatever, you get the idea. <laughs> it's just a brown eye pencil, you can use whatever kind you have. I actually have a Rimmel one and an Ulta one. Um, the Ulta one I actually have been using, it's called Chocolate, it's right here. It's Chocolate in, it's the Coal Eyeliner in Chocolate. I've been using this one actually for my, in Chocolate, my eyebrows. It is the perfect shade, see the brown? It's the perfect shade for my eyes, so. There you go. Um, anyway, so those, uh, the Rimmel ones were four forty four when I had picked them up. Those were the other ones. Uh, yesterday when I checked, or yeah, yesterday I checked. Again, they're three something at Walmart. So I think they're like four or five dollars at Kmart, and they're four or five dollars at Ulta. So, you know, you pick what you want to spend. <laughs> I went to Walmart. Some people don't like to shop at Walmart. Okay. Moving on, so their eye panels, eye pencils were twenty-one dollars a piece. So there's a huge cost savings there. I feel like this is really random. Okay, blush. This was the funnest part for me. Funnest? Do you get that? Okay, so get my arm out because I have three dupes for the orange one that they had. Their orange one was called Ripe for Love. Okay, I don't have it. Again, you can look on the internet for swatches if you want. So I'm using. They are three different shades. They're what I would imagine that this, it's like um, more of like a burnt orange, like more pink than orange, I think. So I'm going in with this Mellow, Mellow Wine, $2.99 from, I mean, these are more pink, but, okay, so this is Mellow Wine from, Wet and Wild, it's very pigmented. The next color is Mocha by Mick, NYX, so that's this one, Mocha by NYX. And Coral Sandy Beach number 38 from Jordana is right here, it's the lightest one. Let me see if I can get it there. So, there you have that. So that's the corally ones. The pink ones I picked were, um, I actually picked one up and I didn't swatch it, so I'll just tell you about it, but I didn't try it out. So the pink was, and they're each $23 each. The Georgiana one was $2.49. Wet n Wild is $2.99, you can get on sale. And the NYX blushes, I believe, are $4.99 from Ulta, and you can get them all the time, buy one, get one half off. They have them constantly. The, the pink, it's like a pinky red color. It's called Hot Nights. I picked up this CoverGirl Cheekers in Plumberry Glow. I have this on today. I am so happy that I picked this up because I love it. All right, hold on. I'm just going to swatch the pinks for you. Yeah, perfect. All right, so this is the CoverGirl Cheekers, the top in Plumberry Glow. I don't know if you can see it. It's a light, like, one. And the next one I have is... I don't remember, I took the thing off of this one, so I don't have the color anymore. It's the darker pink one from Wet n Wild. Um, I should have looked it up. I originally had bought that for Giselle to play with. So that's the, the bottom color. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. So the bottom color was this like, cause it was like a red pink, but it came off, like it looked, in the pictures it looked like pink in the container and then it wasn't, it didn't swatch very like, hot pinkish at all so anyway so the like I said the this one is $2.99 the coverall cheekers are $3.79 um, I was gonna reference the the one before so I got that done all right so you have a huge cost savings with the blush I mean $23 is a little bit hard to swallow you can save 20 bucks there lipsticks a little difficult for me I don't have anything I don't think that would go in terms of Caliente, like I probably would have had something if that was my my thing. The Caliente is like um, a rust. The only one that I picked that could be similar, there it is, it's like a red, more of like a gold color. So I picked Red Velvet from 
my lip butters. This is actually a satin finish. I don't have anything with a gold. You could always top it with a lip gloss. Um, so there's that. It's red velvet from their red was Caliente, like I said. It was a mauve pink red with a lot of gold. I was watching some tutorials yesterday and that's the kind of like look I had. Okay, so the Shimmery Nude, I wore this the other day in my, they said it's Sheer Seduction. It's a shimmery bronzy nude color. So I have Wet n Wild's 547B. I wore this the other day in my tutorial. It is just a, it's, it's beautiful. It's the, um, I'm trying to like put stuff aside that I swatched. So yeah, I, insert note here. I, I put a top coat on. It doesn't feel gritty at all anymore. All right, so back to lipsticks. There's our $16.50 each. So this Wet n Wild one I think was $1.99. I think it was $1.99. I might have gotten it for $0.99 cents on sale. And then the Revlon Lip Butters are between $5 and $7 depending on where you get them from. So again, that's a huge cost savings, more than half on the Wet n Wild one, but the L'Oreal ones are about half. Um, okay, sorry. Purple Satin, I have this color, Berry Hout from Revlon. It is one of their cream lines, it looks like that. Um, this is number 660, it's a cream, sorry, it's this one. I This is my favorite berry. I was reading something the other day and it said, Feel My Pulse is the one from MAC. And the Altered Beige was a creamy nude, the one that I picked and I did this last night in my video. It's Sir, Circe from NYX. It's number 522. It's in this little container. This is a good nude. Um, so there you have it. I'm sure you could find whatever colors you want. Those are the lipsticks that I had to go with. Okay, so theirs were 1650. The NYX, um, I think the NYX lipsticks are 4.99. Again, I know this week they're on buy one get one half off. I think so. Um, there's that. And the CoverGirl or the Revlon lipstick is like 4.90 something at um, I get mine at Target because Walmart never seems to have a good selection, so I do get mine at Target. So. Oh, I was going to say Milani's Cream Nude, but I ended up not using that one. Um, I'm sure any of the Milani lines you could probably pick up for this, but um, I didn't only because I didn't want to spend any more money and I didn't realize they were buy one, get one half off, or I would have picked two more up because I'm, you know, I'm going to try and wear some lipsticks this year, summer. I don't know. I've got a lot of lip glasses. All right, so moving on to lip glasses, lip glosses, I meant not lip glasses because I'm not spending $16.50 on a lip gloss. So the total for the lipsticks would have been 66. The total for the lip glosses would have been 66 as well. The ones that I am recommending are fairly fantastic. I did pick up this one. Um, so they had Liquid Passion, Soft Serenade, Rhythm, and Underdressed. Each one was $16. Um, I picked up Raspberry Reflections from Maybelline. And this has like a glitter. It's a sheer glitter. You can see it like sparkle a little bit in the in the, the light um, and they had shown like a berry when I had seen it swatched oh this is perfect um, so it looks like this Doo -doo -doo. so it's a berry a berry one their bronzed one I don't have the pictures up so I, you know I don't really know which one would be which so the bronze I'm using this Rimmel Stay Glossy in Everlasting Crush I think that one was like three or four bucks. And then they had a nude shimmery one. I'm using this Rimmel Stay Glossy in Nonstop Glamour. So this one is the Everlasting Crush. This is the Stay Glamour. And then for the nude cream one, this is by far, this is the only lip gloss I have had in my collection forever. This is number 13 from Milani and it's called Whisper. These are awesome. I actually almost picked another one up, but they're $5.99 now. Not that I care, but this one isn't empty, so. All right, so you have the, I gotta, there we go. You can't really see them on my skin, so, you know, you get what you get. So this is the, where am I gonna do it that you can see it? 
You can sort of see it like that. Let me see if I can. I don't know. Whatever, you get the gist. So, there, oh, there you go. Okay, so this is the pink. This is the Everlasting Crush. This is the, um, the Glamour one. And then that's the nude. It's like super, super nude. There you go. Look at that. So this is the nude Milani. These two are the Rimmel ones. And then this is the Maybelline one. And excuse my fingernails. I had to take off all my stuff. So huge cost savings with that. We're into the last set of products. The bronzers. I do not have the liquid bronzer. I was going to try and pick it up just to like, you know, play with it, do whatever. But my Walmart only had one and it was compromised. So the liquid bronzer that they had was, where was it called? <sighs> Excuse me. Strobe liquid. It was a golden elixir. So the only thing that I know of um, from the YouTube world is this hard candy glow and it's glow all the way face and body luminizer bronze 318 my Walmart did have one but it was open so I didn't purchase it it is eight dollars um, I believe it just goes in you can look online for swatches so that was that bronze products the two that I um, for the powders again I had the sailor ones from last year these are soft sand and I have nude on board Um, I could probably, let me swatch. So soft sand is a glittery, I don't know, like bronze color. And I picked, the soft sand would have been $25. I picked, um, Hula, Hula Hula from, you can't tell. Hello. So this is soft sand and this is hula hula. Um, hula hula I have on, do I have one? No, I don't have, I had it on last night in my thing. So this is from Hard Candy. They are um, the baked bronzers. Uh, this is cheap. I think I paid $7, $7 for this versus 25. So, and yes, last year I paid 25, but I would never pay it this year. I was obsessed with it last year. Hello. And then the bronzed Pro Long Powder Nude on Board. The one that I picked for this one was this Hard Candy Fox in a Box. I'm fairly certain they're not exactly the same, but you get the look with it. This is a more like shimmery whatever, 30 bucks. And I got the Fox in the Box for, what did I say this was? Fox in the Box was, I forget what I paid for it, $6, $5? I think it was $5, 5 or $6, I can't recall. Um, and I don't have my receipt down here. So yeah, that's it. So um, I hope you really liked this you know, video, duped, uh, you know, I duped what I had, or what I thought would look good. So let me know if you have any ideas for other videos, and I'll see you in my next video. So um, I'm gonna do, yeah, that's it. I'll do a little rundown in the credits like I did the other day. I thought that was kind of cool. So have a great Monday. Happy Memorial Day. I'm going to go and hang out with my sick children and that's it. Finish my coffee. Bye. I like knock over my glasses.